Hello everybody, it's Tommy and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a CC haul in preparation for Realm of Magic that literally comes out next week. So when it comes out, there's going to be so much more custom content, especially whatever we get in Creative Sim, people are going to morph it and change it and do all sorts of awesome stuff with it. But I wanted to start collecting a little bit of a folder on my Pinterest of things that relate to it for Maxis Match. And it's all sorts of things that relate to magic, wizards and witches witches, magicians, spellcasters, all of that stuff, space stuff, a little bit of like stars and moons, and anything I could basically find, all types of time periods as well. Some of these are definitely going to be outfits from games. I'm not super familiar with all of them. Like for example, you can already see here, I have something pinned from Dragon Age. So it is going to be stuff like that, but I've tried to do a really big mix. There's some modern clothing in here. There's some traditional witch hats, witch dresses, and then there's everything kind of in between. And as usual, I will continue to update this folder far beyond Realm of Magic coming out. So first, we're going to take a look at the folder really quickly. If you would like to get access to all of the custom content I'm going to be featuring in today's video, the link through my Pinterest is down below. That is where you will find a direct link to all of my Sims 4 custom content, and they are all categorized into folders. This one is labeled currently Maxis Match Magician. I might change it to Spellcaster. I'm not sure, but this is where you will find everything along with all of my other CC hauls. I always link everything in one folder on my Pinterest so that it is easy for you guys to find. And then we're going to jump into creative some. We're going to look at some of these items up close and see what they look like. And then at the last part of the video, I usually like to do a little bit of a creative sim so I can show you guys how I would use some of the items and create some spellcasters for you guys to download if you would like to. So like I said, this is a pretty wide variety folder. I've tried to do hairs. I've tried to do male and female, a lot of jewelry, which is something I normally skip. Like we've got a lot of like moons and stars jewelry, and I have personally relinked a bunch of of these so everything should be working okay i'm absolutely so excited to show you guys this hair in game it is beautiful and it's so unique and it's so like and magical it is perfect for this pack some of these are not exactly maxis match like this definitely strays a little bit closer to alpha but when it comes to shoes i tend to give a little bit of leeway sometimes some hairs i'll give a little bit of leeway and then there is a large plethora of hats in here that I have linked. We have like hats with floral patterns on them or floral bits on them. Uh, we've got some more like traditional ones. This one's got like a little moon attachment on the end of it and it comes in lots of different colors and lots of earrings like anything pentagrams, stars, moons, crystals. I found this one pair of of hoop earrings that I'm so excited about. Where do they go? I'll show you them and create some. Oh, they're right here. They come in a few different colors. Again, not so Maxis matchy, but when you put it with a Maxis match outfit and hair, you really can't tell the difference. So pretty. Exactly the type of things you would need. This is actually an outfit from the brand new um movie uh, aladdin the brand new aladdin movie it's maxis match it's so pretty i actually used this in a different creative sim video a while back and it definitely has like very magician like magical royal type of vibes and i think together it's obviously a jasmine outfit but separate which these are actually two separate pieces a top and a bottom it's really pretty and you can combine it with some flowy skirts and stuff to get that like magician vibe and like i said you could do pretty much any time period like this is definitely supposed to be medieval so if you're going for like medieval magician you can go that route or if you want to do more of like a modern witch then we've got some stuff in here as well. Um, so I don't think I have too much more to say. We should probably just jump into Create a Sim and check out some of these items and see how they all turned out and how they look. Oh, lots of tattoos, definitely too. I tried to do a lot of them. Hopefully I remember to show you guys them in Create a Sim. So yeah, let's jump over into Create a Sim and check out some of these items in person. All right, so welcome to Create a Sim. This is my Kiki Sim from Kiki Delivery Service, a Create a Sim I just recently did. I will link that at the end if you're interested in uh, her Create a Sim video and her Sim. 
So let's start from the top to the bottom. I have got a few hairs. So anything that was, I tried to get like a wide variety. Like I said, I love braids when it comes to witches, spellcasters, wizards. I'm just going to say spellcasters for the duration of the video, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, but I also like anything you can put up and sort of put like flowers in it or accessories or so this is the hair that I was most excited to show you guys. It's just so unique and so, so pretty. And it has this little accessory hair piece that goes over the top to make it so much more intricate and special. And it does come in your classic Maxis Match colors. Um, nothing too different. The blonde is so pretty. Definitely excited about that one. I also, like I said, I love ones that have any kind of braids. I believe this one actually comes with, no, it's this one. So this one has some different like hair accessories and dread bits and little hair bands and things. And you can actually go and change the color of them. It's found in either the accessories or the hat category. And then we have this one. It is sort of like long and flowy. And this piece you can actually change in the back as well. And it just feels a little bit old school. I tend to make my magicians more old school. But I know that there's like a wide spectrum at hand. So I really like uh, this one in particular because it does come in so many different colors. I appreciate that like no other. This one is really exciting because it's pretty, it's simple, it's curly and kind of tucked back and it actually comes with some different hair bands that you can put over the top that have flowers that I will show you in a minute. And this one also very exciting. I believe this is a mesh edit from Vampire so you probably have to have vampires to have this one but it's a little bit more simplified and it still gives off like that maybe more like modern witch vibes. Uh, got some more braids and like dreaded hair. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely perfectly stunning. Exactly what I need. And uh, some simple more like braided back type of hair. I should probably show you guys some of the colors. Not loving the way this one is clipping. I'm not going to lie. But I do have some slightly strange proportion set up for my anime character here. So if you kind of play with it, maybe it'll work a little bit better. Um, so what I'm actually most excited about, so let's get like a more simple hair. I didn't really pick any simple hairs, probably like this one just to see, uh, to go to the hats. So we've got quite a few interesting things here. So first of all, this beautiful head scarf with the jewels, love. This is perfect and it comes in like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colors. Uh, this is so unique. I have not seen anything like this. In the CC community and it is just like everything I could have wanted. So I'm definitely keeping this in my game regardless. This hat is like, let me get a different hair. Hold on, hold on. Um, 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 um. This hat is actually from a different mod pack that I have done an entire review on called Pufferhead Stuff. And most of the clothes from the pack are relating to uh, Harry Potter-ish. So if you're looking for more that route, there's a lot of stuff in that that would be available for you. I've only pulled this in because this is such like a classic wizard hat. And this hat is actually available for children as well and teens. So you can use this like it has a larger variety and it comes in a lot of like the perfect sort of colors and hues that we're going for and the star and everything and it's definitely like classic wizard mail as well uh there was a lot of other stuff available in that pack but that was pretty much the only one i pulled out and then we've got this hat which is actually a this is patchy's hat from seasons and somebody has removed it from him and made it a cast accessory piece so it's got a lot of details some feathering very pretty uh, very unique, very different from some of the other stuff. This one, my reshade is blowing this out a little bit. You're losing some of the detail, but I am such a Sailor Moon fan, you guys. So moons, anything that's got like little moon accessories, so up my alley. Let's check it out in some other colors. Ooh, see this one, you can see like the shading on it a little bit better. Really nice, slightly leaning towards alpha, but we're okay with it. We're okay with that one. Uh, this is actually a version without the moon. And then we've got this one, very unique, and it comes in all of these beautiful ombre colors. So you've got like a, like this little swirling pattern on the back. I'm not sure where this is from or what this is in reference to, but I love the ombres and I just love the different type of hat, including this one as well. This reminds me a lot of, this is called like the modern witch's hat. It's clearly like a straw hat mesh edit, but... 
it reminds me of the hats that the girls wear in the Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I don't remember the school that the girls, the all girls school come from, but does this not look like the hats that they wear? And it's so funny because I wanted to do a creative some of them way back when, and I never ended up doing it because I couldn't find a hat like this. And now I found it. So if that's something you guys want to see, let me know in the comment section down below. These are the hair accessories that go with the dread hair so you can see it adds sort of more feathers it adds some little bands and strings and uh you've got the beak going on very very unique and you can change the colors so you pick the hair color that you want and then you can kind of coordinate and choose which band you want to go with it this one is not going to work with this hair, but if we switch back over to the one it goes with this, it is a floral crown made to go with this hair. And I think that that really, really works for spellcasters uh, playing into like the whole potions making, living off the land, a little bit more woodsy, elfish type of vibe. So you can go in and you can do the same thing as the other one and change the colors around for that one. Um, I'm not going to be able to show you this headband today because I've accidentally downloaded it incorrectly and I didn't end up getting the hairband to work. So it is linked in my Pinterest folder. Hopefully you can do better than I can and actually get it to work. We've got the classic hat with the string band going around the back of it. And then it's also got a separate version that comes in the classic browns and blacks. And then you can pick which type of flower color you would like. And then some more simple ones at the end, like the classic brown and the classic black, which everybody needs. Now let's move on to accessories. I'm so excited about some of these. So these are, like I told you earlier, the hair clips that you can actually change the color of, but let's look at some earrings. So we've got stars come in a couple of different colors. We've got moons, my personal favorite, comes in two different colors. I do wish it came in a silver. That seems like a little bit of a loss there. Um, some interesting sort of twisty, windy flowers. I was trying to look for like crystal wrapped jewelry or any of that type of stuff. And then there's this small collection. This is definitely not Max's Match, but I don't even care. And it is by S Club and they are all very similar to one another. There's sort of these like mismatch earrings on one side. You've got the Saturn and then on the other side, you've got the moon. So pretty. A couple of different jewelry options. Something very similar here with just like asymmetrical little hoops. Um, and then last but not least, we've got ones with cats in them. And I believe these only come in the one color. So that is a little bit of a disappointment. Then hoop earrings. These are beautiful, you guys. They're actually three-dimensional. One of the biggest things I hate about earrings is when sometimes they do... Um, one-dimensional flat earrings and when you sort of like turn the sim around like this there's no dimension to them and they disappear that is not the case for these and they do come in a couple of different colors like there's versions with blue crystals um i do wish there was a recolor available for these to do a couple of more if anybody knows link me down below and then these these are exciting these are super maxis match are they not and they are um pentagram hoop earrings they're huge they're super modern they're super pretty and then you have the white and black options and then you have the option to do like an asymmetrical half white half black option lastly a couple of necklaces we've got the moon phases going on a couple of different colors for the actual bands and the stars or the chain and then you've got this layered sort of necklace that reminded me very much of harry potter uh, that comes in a couple of different colors. These other ones are not really available from my folder. And then moving on, lastly, let's check out some tattoos before we go over to close. So I have other tattoos in my game, so uh, they're not all included. But first of all, we've got the beautiful moon phases going down the back of the spine. I think that that is so perfect. A lot of these are going to be relating to space or plants or constellations that all kind of fit the vibe for me um and especially some of these that come in like packs and then you've got like the aliens and stuff like that like not necessarily fits but like yeah we, we've got like the little saturn for the collarbone so pretty um we've got this one let me remove this one and it's just like basic little light dainty flowers for the back and then if you want something more dramatic we've got this whole like alchemist script piece that goes down the back and very very nice there's actually more in the folder i couldn't get all of them to work so if you guys can 
there's more available for you there. Let's move on to tops. So this is actually the top that I was talking about earlier that goes with the Princess Jasmine outfit. And it comes in beautiful reds and purples. And it is just so elegant and classy. And you could definitely play this up to be very old school and like alchemist. Or you could do like classic modern magician. You could do this either way. So I love it. Um, and I did want to have some modern options. So I feel like anything that has sort of like light DT flowers and comes in the very fall kind of color scheme works really well. So just a couple of different options, ones that have sort of the same vibe but are cut differently available in the folder. And then this one, I just feel like this works so well. It's got sort of like the cute little witchy bat sleeve type of deal and the slit that goes up the arm. It's very unique. The one that they're showing Going in the thumbnail is this one and I also think like these really intricate patterns like cultural type of patterns work really well for this uh, but you've also got some like floral options as well and then you've got your basic colors including good old classic black um, so some bottoms to go with this we've got this long flowy skirt comes in some ombres it's not really working with this top obviously unless you don't mind the way that it's sort of like painted these sleeves to match uh but i find that this skirt has a hard time with the custom content tops it has to be sort of a simple top but i did want to include it for you guys because i do think that it kind of goes up the alley of what we're looking for so then we've got this very old school slightly like medieval looking dress um, but it does come in some pretty colors and then I think even some patterns at the very end here as they usually do. These are the pants that match with the top from earlier. They're very jogger style. I think this is the one thing that maybe like starts to stray away from what we're going for here. But obviously they come in a package together and so you can kind of see them together like that. Um, very, very pretty, very interesting and just different in general. And then lastly, we have uh, a flowy skirt that would work so well. I think this is actually meant to go with these tops here. It is. So uh, this one matching in like kind of a green you could do like a long flowy curly hair and then do some flowers up top and do some cute boots and speaking of shoes actually let's move on to some shoes uh these are probably my favorite part so i wanted to include like classic pointed black boots and they also come in brown obviously uh but you need those if you're gonna make like a classic witch or like a modern witch you need some black boots so those are perfect and then these are the ones I found from earlier and I feel like they fit really well into like some of the alchemist clothes and some of like the more medieval stuff and yes they're more alpha but that's okay that's okay this time uh these ones actually go with a different outfit that I will show you later I am so excited about these I use these in a different video but they're a little bit like I don't know what word to use other than just like classic. They're like gladiator style, obviously, but I feel like you could really play these in, including these as well. Um, they are sort of like that gladiator style, but you can do magic in that sort of style as well. So including those and then a classic tall boot comes in quite a few colors, classic colors, got black and brown, and then you've got all sorts of colors in between. Um, and this is the mesh for that and then some little boots. These are actually from probably like a hiking or camping type of thing. Um, but I think that you also need something like this if you're going to, depending on what you want, depending on what you want. Uh, so the big thing here is actually the full body outfits. This is where it really depends on like the time period. This is probably my favorite one. This is called the alchemist outfit. And I have been personally looking for an excuse to use this. It doesn't come in too many colors, but the colors it does come in are so perfect. And it's very like per the time period, but it's so so magical and I it's probably one of my favorite pieces from this whole haul um and then you've got this one again leaning a little bit more towards medieval and uh it reminds me slightly of like also Pirates of the Caribbean type of vibes and you've got a couple of more different options I love the full body outfits like I told you guys some of these are probably from games that I don't play I think this one is from Dragon's Quest or Dragon Quest I don't know, but they still fit the vibe, so I wanted to include them. Additionally, 
Um, and I feel like a lot of these will work really well for like classic witches and wizards. So you guys will like them. You'll use them. These ended up being so pretty. I don't usually have this good of luck with everything working and looking super nice. Uh, but yeah, it's all working. These are actually from something separate. So I'm not going to show these. And then lastly, this one is like futuristic slash medieval slash, um, still could be like magician school type of thing right it's giving off a little bit of like magic vibes like it's got some patterns on it and this is for male and female i've actually used it on the male sim at the end in the creative sim and i just think it's really interesting these are actually the shoes that go with it uh it's from a game again that i'm not sure of but i felt like it could work you could make it work and then really really quickly we're just going to look at the male options i don't think i have too many available for the haul specifically but I know there might be one or two yeah so this is probably the only one that's different um and I believe this is from get to work or get famous and it is an edit to remove some of the other stuff uh so you can get some like this more classic seamless armored look which can fall into medieval but you could also do like medieval slash spellcaster depends on where you want to go with that this outfit that is also available for the male characters and then this outfit that is also available for the male characters a lot of them come with the shoes so you can like put the coordinating shoes with it uh, and there was this other thing that was included in the pack. It is this little like hand scar. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see, but if you look on this hand down here and this glows pretty heavily. So when they put their hand up to their face, it's actually sort of glowing and it just looks like they're about to cast a spell or that it's maybe a scar from like casting spells or doing battle. Uh, so it is in one of these packs, but I didn't really feature it too heavily. So that is pretty much going to be it for the CC overview. And we are going to jump into a little bit of a creative sim video where I'm going to make three spell casters for your game using the custom content you've seen today. So stay tuned for that. And if not, thank you so much for watching. Welcome to the last part of the video. Today we are going to be making three spellcasters, one male and two female. I'm going to be honest, I wasn't really feeling the male spellcaster stuff for this haul. And as a result, the male spellcaster ended up being probably like one of my least favorite sims I've ever made. I just couldn't really get the vibe for him. And that's also why he's last. But I did want to include some of the stuff anyway, for those of you who are going to be looking for male CC. It is so hard to come by and it is just so annoying to try and find good custom content for males. I even forgot to like specifically look for spellcaster style hair maybe for males. So that is something in the future I would like to do a dedicated male Maxis Match hair haul and male Maxis Match custom content haul for uh, regular creative sim items. So if that's something you'd like to see, make sure you comment down below and let me know and I will try and get that out for you guys. But I was pretty excited to do my female characters. So one thing that I like to normally do when I am creating a random sim that has nothing to do with pretty much anything, like a sim that is kind of out of my head, I will often go on to Pinterest or I will go on Google and I will type in sort of a keyword and then model or uh, like person or selfie or female and just see what comes up and see what pulls my interest. So for my two females that I have here, I literally just went on uh, Pinterest and I searched like October vibes or October outfits and went through until I could find a couple of females that I could use for reference. And that way it helps to keep me from creating the same Sims over and over again and using a, or going for more, I guess, like a little bit of diversity and straying away from um, maybe some of the things that I would typically pick so that I can do a large variety and have all of the options available for you guys. For this first Sim, I wanted a more old school witch classic witch though with like a classic black hat classic black boots and this dress that comes in the one piece slightly off the shoulder with the lace is so pretty and you'll notice the hair that I've chosen has sort of like purpley undertones and I've also given her purple eyes so I felt like doing a purple dress to match and kind of coordinate all of that together really really fit really well and I think I named her um maybe Aria 
I changed a couple of their names around. So at the end, they're a little bit different. My second sim, I specifically wanted to use the alchemist dress that I talk about in the beginning of the video because it is my favorite part of the haul. And I think that if I had to pick my favorite branch of magic, alchemy for some reason is what really draws me in. So I specifically wanted a female alchemist. And I, again, was using a photo of reference off of Pinterest. And it was some girl that was doing like this really pretty smoke smoky eye makeup tutorial uh, for fall. It had like lots of browns and she actually had, I think, dark, dark brown eyes, but I thought it would be so pretty to pair like a golden eye with some gray hair. I ended up switching the gray hair because my last sim really, really threw me off. Uh, and I think the colors were really throwing me off. I was trying to go for the October slash fall color palette, which can be like the deep ivies and mustard yellows and obviously oranges and purples and a lot of the clothes already came in that color but I was also sort of trying to coordinate the jewelry and the hair and all of that and have them be very different from one another have them be very themed so for alchemy I think a lot about like using the land and the world around you in magic so it felt really natural to do the short tied up hair with the flower crown and then some cute earrings to obviously match and then lastly we are on to my male sim so I just didn't really know what to do with him. I did have a reference photo like I did for the other ones, but I was trying to stray a little bit further away from it. And I guess that's probably one of the big things that was the issue because when I make male sims, I think that that is where I really, really tend to do the same thing over and over again. And this video wasn't necessarily prepared for me to be making a male sim. Like I probably should have included some male beards and some male spellcaster hair like I mentioned earlier so when I realized that I didn't include any of that stuff and I didn't obviously want to use too many other things that weren't included in the haul to create my sims today I was a little bit stuck with using some of the in-game hairs and things like that which isn't necessarily a bad thing some of them are okay but I will be honest and say that I tend to completely just abandon all in-game hairs even for female I don't really like any of them there's a couple here and there that are the exception and I tried to pick through today to use some of those but I just love custom content hair so much uh enough that like I would never consider not using CC for creative sim and I've been asked so many times if I would do a video that is like creating sims with no custom content and I probably will at some point down the line but to be honest, I can never see myself completely switching over from not using uh, uh, CC because I just, it, I need it so desperately, like more so than building in any spectrum. But I ended up going with this tied back sort of hair and then my favorite color for it was gray. And I didn't want to have two Sims today that featured gray hair, although the gray hair obviously ties in really well with witches and spellcasters and uh, all that. So I ended up going back and switching my alchemist hair over to a green color, which again, I feel like pairs really well with her outfit and the idea that she is an alchemist and again, like living off the land and using the land around you. And then I renamed her green as well because it's such a pretty interesting name that you probably don't see too often. But I feel like for spellcasters, you can get away with like some interesting, interesting names. And that is going to be the end of today's video. Again, all of the links for everything you're seeing are included on my Pinterest down below. Check it out if you're looking for anything and let me know what other hauls or videos you'd like to see in my comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon below to turn on post notifications so you can get updated every single time I post and I will talk to you all in the next one.